Chronic health issues can really dull the skin, especially when various medications come into the picture. I was on steroids to help treat a massive Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome flare-up in 2015. Other than the acne face masks that I shared in my last DIY skincare video, I would also apply the face mask I'm going to share today. It's my instant pick-me-up face mask and a really gentle exfoliator all at the same time. Plus, it's one of my mum's most favourite masks. Her skin is obviously older to mine and it works wonderfully for her as well. So before I jump into explaining it, please remember that I'm not a certified dermatologist or a medical professional in any capacity. I am a patient who deals with various medical conditions and I just want to share what has worked for me. It's always best to check with a medical professional before you decide to try anything I share. Also, a lot of these DIY recipes are things my mum has taught me about skin and hair care and I'm trying to pass that on. The main hero of this mask are oats. I'm going to take four teaspoons of oats. I grind up rolled oats in a food processor. I get it quite fine. In fact, it should be fine, so that it's a very, very gentle exfoliator. I avoid large pieces of any ingredient, otherwise it damages sensitive skin. So oats have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. It softens the skin by gently removing dead skin, reducing blackheads through the exfoliation process. Add to this, a quarter teaspoon of honey. It also has antioxidant properties, but when you're looking to clean up and heal skin, its antiseptic and antibacterial properties have been very beneficial for me. Next up, and the last ingredient. Yep, this face mask has only three ingredients. So the last ingredient is milk. You can use dairy or non-dairy milk. If you use regular dairy milk, then that has lactic acid, which is anti-aging. It also has the ability to soothe inflamed acne and cleanse the skin. If you use almond milk like me here, it softens, moisturizes and cleanses the skin. The vitamin E in almond milk helps to nourish and rejuvenate the skin, even sensitive skin. So whichever milk you take, you'll need around 3 teaspoons, mix it up nicely into a sort of a thick paste looking pack. I'm going to apply this on my hand just to show you what the consistency looks like and how evenly to apply it. If you use this mixture immediately, then great, but if you let it sit for a short time, you'll probably find that the oats have absorbed the moisture, so you may need to add half a teaspoon more of milk to get back the right consistency. Please always apply this on a clean face. So do wash it beforehand, apply it evenly on the neck and face, avoiding the eye area. Our skin is really sensitive under the eyes and we don't want to trouble it by applying this particular mask there. This is enough quantity for one-time use. I consciously do not make a larger quantity as nothing here as nothing in here is a preservative so it won't preserve. Also I found that this is also a really good mask for the body so if you are if you make a larger quantity then you can use it on your body as well. Usually after applying this on my neck and face whatever is left I wash it and I apply it on my hands and massage it and then wash it off. It brings my hands instant shine and gives it a nourished look and I keep this on for 20 minutes until it's dry then I gently flake off the mask I do not rub it off I do not want to tug on my face which is why the mask needs to dry but if you can't wait for that to happen then splash a bit of water and just move your hands in a circular motion with the water and just wash it off if you can wait for it to dry and you do flake it off then again a gentle splash of cool water and a quick light rub will get the extra bits off. Pat dry and you're all set. I usually use this mask the day I'm looking to step out to help lift the energy on my skin or on days when I think it's looking very dull or on a day when I've gone through a flare up and I want to pamper myself. If you try this, let me know how it goes for you and you can leave your comment below and please do like, share and subscribe. I am I think this is almost dried now um, by the time I've done recording this. I'm going to flake it off and wash my hands and that's it. Thank you so much for watching.